Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so let's get off the ground. Go, go, go. There we go. Looking amazing. And it's weird. We got a like a pinch of clouds that's just running straight that way. Hey, it just doesn't look right. And it even you can almost see how the atmosphere kind of curves. It just it looks amazing. Oh, so yeah. We will be mapping Kerbin this episode, at least trying. Now, I did build a pretty funky satellite here. Um, I'm not 100% certain that everything is going to work accordingly, but, uh, yeah. So, we'll, we'll, we'll just go from here. That, that's pretty much the, the best I can give you right now. And pretty much, that's... Pretty much all I know. I, I really don't know about this mapping stuff. I, I really don't know. There's a lot of buttons and there are a lot of things to push. We do need to get a Keythane satellite up, which I think I'll be doing here very shortly. But I think I'm going to start on something like maybe a space station or something like that because uh, satellite launches aren't exactly the most amazing and or fun thing to even watch so oh my god so much lag there we go perfect so yeah I, I probably will eventually start on some kind of why don't we have any control over anything what's going on here Ooh, we got really bad lag for some reason I don't know what's going on here there we go I, I really don't know what's going on but it is really bad frame rate right now holy crap there we go I think it's okay now yeah yeah it's good it's it's really good it was starting to prevent me from doing any kind of a turn here but that can't be that bad we can we can make up for that so yeah you know it was um this whole setup and getting everything going I think it's just looking at Kerbin is what really causes it I, I don't know but if, if that's the case, I might have to change something because I I do have the texture set to low, so I don't want you guys to think that seeing this is, is kind of what it looks like. It really, I, I do think if you upgrade your textures or something, it will actually look a lot better. But um, yeah, no, that I, I don't have the textures on 100%, I don't think, or I, I don't know exactly what I have set up or how I have it set up, to be honest, because some of this stuff... Dear God, uh, some of this stuff is a little bit shoddy when it comes to working, and you can even tell right now, my frame rate is not happy. Dear God. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys when we get to orbit. And we're back guys the only main problem that we have right now is that we have reached orbit it's just uh, we have lost communication with the Kerbal Space Center but it's not that much of an issue we will just remain orbiting until we can get communication back so 
The one thing I will mention is that this new mapper is actually pretty freaking awesome. It does do a lot, and it also happens to have a lot of really awesome features. So oh, I just gotta check one thing to see if maybe we can activate some of this other stuff. Oh no, we cannot. That sucks. I at least activated one of them. We are getting somewhat of a map right now. This thing shows projections of your orbits later on and everything else. Like this is our, or at least this one right here was our previous orbit, I believe. And this is our projected orbit afterwards. So we can speed up some of this stuff. And the best part about this mapping, uh, wow. The best part about this mapping mod is that you can actually use time warp and the time warp itself will it will still map perfectly with even time warp on and all that other good stuff i don't know why it's mapping in gray right now i i prefer my maps in color the one thing i will say though is that this doesn't update as frequently so you have to constantly keep re-updating it but this little one here updates uh, very frequently and I do have to say though it is really awesome you can speed up everything and once again it just keeps right up the other one didn't give you as clear of an image on a constant basis because of the fact that you're speeding things up so that was kind of annoying but you know it, it everything's good now we should be regaining some control here in a minute or two there we go. So I'm going to turn on the main dish here because I did not do that, which I probably should have. It would have made more sense. Um, we'll set up the target to the comsat 1, which that should help out with a little bit of stuff. The small one, I think I'm going to keep it pointed at the uh, mission control here. That might help out a little bit with... Um, making sure that we remain in contact I don't think it's mission control I think it's just Kerbin I'm not sure I think I'll just I'll go with uh, yeah mission control here that that's the one I, I believe it, it's kind of confusing with certain things but you know that there's not very much you can do about that but we are losing power like crazy because we're on the uh, we're mapping and we're on the dark side, which isn't exactly the best thing. We might end up running out of battery. I didn't really come fully prepared for all of this, but we can do some very minor mapping, at least for right now. That probably should at least... Oh, no, we definitely lost communication again. That sucks. But we're at least getting some mapping done. That's, that's kind of the most important part. But yeah, these maps I might make available on, you know, if you guys would like them. I mean, I know there are a few different websites now that actually just have all the maps of every planet. But I will be doing this stuff because I, I just think it's kind of fun to, to actually have satellites in orbit that actually are doing things. So I think it's very interesting and very awesome to have something like this. So we should be regaining contact here any time with one of our satellites I, I at least I hope so because definitely wouldn't be this is definitely not gonna go very well we just need to regain control to fix the orbit because our orbit is a little wonky right now it's going from 200 to 79 but at least we reached orbit which is the main thing I don't know what was going on with that lag either I, I really don't know but I really hope it's over with because if that has something to do with this visual enhance enhancements mod, I will have to potentially uninstall it. I really don't know because that could really screw up launches for uh, going forth. So I, I really don't want anything to be really messing up anything as far as how this game is operating and what we're doing and everything else. But you can see we have a fairly decent amount of the planet map right now. We're at almost 25%, which is not that bad. I mean, it's really not that bad at all. I'm just really hoping we regain control of one of these satellites here. That would be very nice. Um, I, I just, I'm waiting for the, the green bar to show up, but... 
Maybe I'll put a few lower satellites in orbit. I don't know. Potentially, it, it, it's it's going to get to the point where it's just a ball of satellites around the planet, which I don't really want to do that. But if that's how the game has got to be played, then I guess I'm going to have to play the game that way. So once again, I have to let you guys know if there's any mods that you would like to see me play, mess with, to mess with and just screw up my game or whatever, please let me know. I would be more than happy to test out any kind of future mods or anything. There are a few of them I just will not use and, uh, you know, I kind of make that distinction myself, but, you know, for the most part I am very open towards whatever mods you guys want to throw at me just as long as it's any uh, it's not going to screw up my game or screw up basically anything else but yeah so I'm gonna probably continue on mapping here for a little bit longer we got about 34 percent of the surface mapped I think this is a very low grade map but we have something so that that's kind of the main part here oh god this thing just doesn't like to turn at all gone I'll probably be getting rid of the stage here very soon and switching over there is an ion engine on here and that generally works out a little bit better with these kinds of satellites uh, ion engines usually just are always amazing when it comes to smaller satellites so anyways guys uh, if you like what you see here subscribe there's always more to come to all you new people welcome and uh, yeah I will see you next time.